I'm uh, in the same place I cleaned up a year and a half ago. Some of you might remember this, but I just wanted to check what's going on. <laughs> so as I can see, it's relatively clean. There's some litter that's accumulated, but generally it's not too bad. I have to take that back. It's not that clean actually. I managed to fill another half of this bag and there's so much buried stuff here. I found this just buried and it lo it looks promising because sticking out of it is this can of what the heck is this? Fine Pilsner Lager Peter Dominic. It looks absolutely ancient. No, I can't read it. It's it's gone. But it must be at least from the 90s. And they don't even make cans like that anymore. Let's see. Penance Super. I don't even know this beer. I don't know if they even make it anymore. They're probably not. I just stumbled upon this. I thought I'd show you. It's from 1995. A bag of walkers. Wow. Whew. So I absolutely filled this bag to the brim. And I dug out these things. Um, somebody done this plastic roofing, I guess, or whatever it was. Yeah, I think I'm finally done. So it was a lot more than I thought it would be. It looked really clean, but uh, now it actually is. So, yeah, take this out and move on. Okay, so some of you might also remember this place. This was one and a half years ago, just to make sure everybody's on the same page. Obviously, a few bottles and what not but generally it's not terrible there are some things i simply can't do anything about one of them is this massive piece of uh, concrete i'm not sure what this is it might be a tent i'm gonna try and pull it out no promises here but uh, let's see In case you were wondering, this bad boy that weighs a ton was filled with nothing else than soil or just some form of, a, of sand. All right, and this is a total catch from everywhere around me. Obviously new stuff and some of the stuff that I missed the first time around a year and a half ago. I'll bag it up, move on. It's looking awesome again. Everything has been bagged up. I'm gonna leave it in the usual place. Two bags in total, a wooden beam and some plastic roofing or whatever this is. A year and a half later, I'm done again with this area. It's, it's really, it was a lot less work than uh, the first time around. Another place I'm usually cleaning up every few months. Uh, as you can see, a bunch of stuff has accumulated. Uh, bottles, cans, rubble, obviously. Perfect place to dump rubble. The vegetation is really not my friend in this instance because uh, it's, I'm sure there's more stuff inside, but it's just not possible to, to go in. But this I can take away, yeah, sure. It's just a carpet of rubbish that's hiding under, under all these plants. I did clean it completely uh, last year or something like that, but as you can see, it, nothing lasts long. So let's bag this up again. Mission accomplished. Everything is gone. Same here, same there. I have this bag to take out, but you know, it's a bit heavy. I'm going to do it in a second, but everything else is gone. So yeah, let's move on. I went in on the Selenden route by the river pen. And somebody dumped some clothes here, maybe a homeless person, I don't know. So, yeah, this is right next to the road and uh, I guess it's very easy for people to come in here and 
use this space as a toilet or stuff like that. I see some rubbish on the other side, bottles and usual suspects. I don't know if I can get there because of all the vegetation, but I'll see if I can. But yeah, just thought I'd show you this. Apart from that, the path itself is really, really nice, but it has certain issues, as you can see. Let's fix them. Two minutes later, what a fantastic difference. Found a can from 2004 there. Uh, I don't know if I can still find it. Well, it's in here somewhere. There it is. This can of Holston is from 2004. I'd show you the back, but I made the mistake of rubbing it and uh, now it's not readable anymore. But yeah, this is from 2004. So I'm gonna move on that direction, see what else I find. Lo and behold, another stash of clothes. I have no idea for how long these have been here. I hope this is the last patch in need of attention. All gone. I filled this to the brim. I don't know if you can tell how big this is, but it's absolutely full. There was a lot of stuff over here, over there, under there, there was a lot of stuff, um, but now it's all gone. The rest of the path, yeah, doesn't look bad, but how many times have I said that before? Guess we'll see. I walked another, I don't know, 100 meters, and it wasn't that bad, just half a bag. But now I hit something big. If I squeeze under all these trees, um, there is some stuff here. I think that's a microwave oven. Or it might be a, a printer. And there's... Oh man, that's gonna be tough to pull out construction materials. I just know these weigh a ton. All right. What is this? Yeah, this is a printer. Why would anyone in their right mind go through the trouble of coming on this natural path to dump their printer? It makes no sense to me whatsoever. It's a lot that was buried. So it must have been here for a long, long time. Interestingly enough, there are many, many bags for donations. We really need your support, blah, blah, blah. It's for uh, donating clothes. See, it says unwanted clothing collection, uh, helping arms, handcrafted bags. That's sad, really, you know, because they ended up here under a bush on a natural trail next to construction rubble. 15 minutes later and I have cleaned up everything around me. I'm still in that bush. I've taken all the construction rubble and I've dug out a bunch of other things. Uh, some people have not been kind to this place. I don't think there's anything left around me. Uh, all the way to the river and that flows through there. So that's good. So this is the total. The concrete, the whatever that is, maybe a scanner, maybe a printer. Rubbish, plastic, bottles, uh, bags of crisps, the usual stuff. Everything you can see here and whatever's in this bag came from that tiny spot there. Check it out. All nice and clean. I have to see where to take this because it's so heavy. I don't know how to move it out, but I'll find a solution. Cool. This is where I'm going to bring all the bags and all those heavy items, Lloyd Court. I've cleaned this place before, a couple of times. Uh, also found this thing, whatever this is. And I bet there will be black bags. Yeah, of course. There you go. Black bags galore. Because people like to do this a lot. One. Two. Four. Five. Six. I have no idea what's inside of them. But that. I didn't want to do that. 
<laughs> okay. And it doesn't matter. It's all gone. Took a while, and it's all done. That's clean. This is clean. Everything else seems clean. The rest of the footpath is clean, so I'm happy with that. In the past, I found many bags of rubbish just thrown over. I can see a lot of rubbish there. I don't know if you can see, but I can also see a lot of rubbish here. I'm gonna jump in and see how much I can pull out. All of this and every single bag is a, a plastic bag that used to wrap a bread. Hovis soft white bread. Time to bag up. Well, before then, actually, I'm gonna clean up again. One of the places you've seen me clean up in one of my previous videos, maybe two years ago, and it's beyond this railing. It was quite a lot of stuff back then, but uh, probably there won't be as much now. I just finished cleaning up this bank in front of me, and I have this uh, metallic fence. It's not the easiest thing. I need both hands, so uh, I'll see you in a bit. I keep saying like, okay, I'm done, I'm done, and then I keep finding stuff like this bag, like this ID card, something, driver's license. I'm gonna check it in a second. Uh, Takeaway trays, you know, and it's because it's so old and time has done its thing and covered this up with a layer of soil. Yeah. I'm not gonna leave it here, so I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Now I'm truly done. Everything that uh, could be taken out has been taken out. Everything else, clean. And this is the pile. It's not bad. Let's bag up everything. Not before I check what the heck this could be. BT Property CC20B. I don't know what it is. Might it contain cables or connectors? I don't know. How about this ID, whatever it was? Indian 2001 Smart Card. Let's have a look. Sean Binal Vishal. Driving license in Gujarat State. 2005. This has been sitting there for 20 years. Almost. Wow. I don't think uh, they're going to need that anymore. 10 minutes later. And it's all bagged up. You know what? All those six bags contained. Somebody mowed their lawn. Put everything in plastic bags and dumped them here. How stupid is that? Okay, I am done, done. I brought everything here. Those heavy things, man, they were heavy. And all the rest of the bags that I filled here and on the path. Let's check up on one of my favorite spots. It always gets trashed for some reason. Yeah, sounds about right. I don't know why people do this. I really don't understand. The obligatory dirty nappy in a plastic bag. Out of sight, out of mind. That's the story. Now it's looking much, much better. Restored to its natural state. Let's see, let's see. What do we have here? It's a black bag. Yeah, so it's uh, 2008, yeah? This thing has been here for 16 years. Put that into perspective. A can of Foster's from yesteryear, 2010. This is probably from the same era.
Up a pipe or something like that. This doesn't belong here. There are a couple of bins here. I have no idea what they're about, but I'm gonna collect everything around them. Another bottle of piss. That's what that is. All right, looking good now. I'm done. Woohoo! Time for a little update. It's mid-July now, and I want to check on this place I cleaned a while ago, a few months ago. Okay, there's some stuff. Nothing too crazy so far. Okay, some bottles here, of course. I can. This is a sword. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the place was found by somebody who mistreated it it has been abused again yeah maybe a homeless person i don't know gonna clean it up All right, clean again. All right, so I'm just gonna go down this road. I'm gonna clean up the verge as I normally do. This tree over here is a uh, fly tipper's favorite. Uh, is this like a pumpkin from Halloween? I think so. Oh my God. Yeah, wonderful. Then again, I've seen it much worse, so uh, <laughs> I'm thankful it's just on bag. We cleaned up the entire street, myself and uh, one other volunteer. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna take the bags to where they belong, next to a bin. I'm gonna call it today. Is some good work. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five bags. Yeah, plus some, some extras. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five bags in your face. Yeah. Oh man, I reported this twice and nothing. And this whole area has been absolutely trashed by somebody. What a shame. Honestly, it, I. Okay. Okay, I've calmed down. Um, okay. Anyway, let's clean up. Where is this coming from? Single-use gloves. I hope I, I find some sort of evidence because this is just horrible. This garden waste that somebody dumped here on top of some rubbish. I 
I don't know the thought process that some people go through, or maybe lack thereof. Why would you do something like this? Well, this is still a fly tip. I'm, I'm going to pick it out and report it as such. I'm sorry, it's just not right. Georgius Nieva. What is this, from a nursery? Yeah, it can't be that the nursery next door dumped their stuff here. It's just not possible. Why would they? Let's look inside as well. Thirty first, thirty first, seventeenth. What is this? Tenth. It doesn't look like it. It comes from a nursery, right? It's learning numbers and something. Anyway, a bunch of of cards, laminated cards. Twelve. I don't know what this is. It definitely looks like it, it came from a nursery. Like, there's no question about it. Now, it, it's a bit hard to believe that they would actually do that, just throw their stuff over the fence, because this is the nursery's uh, fence. I don't know. Colored pencils, a bunch of them. Chalk. This is, I don't know. Now I'm starting to think it might be the nursery. Now, this is something very interesting. This paintbrush. Look at the color. Huh? You think the colors match? I think so. It can't be that a nursery is this ignorant and just dumps their rubbish over the fence. Ha! I even find the roller they used to paint with. There's a measuring cup. Commonly used to measure uh, powder milk. Anyway, I'll clean up all this mess and that's it. I'll see you at the end. Everything is clean now. I've taken care of removing everything in here as well. Moving on. And I'm here again. You've seen this a hundred times. It always gets trashed. Oh, there's a narrow bag. I know who does this. There's a narrow bag here. There's another one down there. There it is, a narrow bag with Linda's notes inside of it, obviously. All right, I'm gonna read it in a second. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> wow, a VHS tape. It's been here a while. Whew. Anyway, this was this week's sketch. It takes a lot of determination to keep going, honestly. It's hard. So I uh, found Linda's note, obviously. Phone Val at the top. Val is Linda's new best friend. No word of Gary anywhere. Meet Martin, Martin, Val, James. Completely new people. I'm not familiar with any of them. <laughs> anyway, I'll add it to the record. I'm done for your peace of mind. That as well. It's all clean. Let's move on. All right, back in our favorite spot. It's what it is. Just gonna clean up. You've seen this 150 times, so I'm not gonna bore you with it. Well, maybe just checking the narrow bag would be interesting. Let's see if Linda is uh, home. There's no note. Oh yeah, there is. Princess nails, uh, revarnish, little, two skinny lattes from little. All right, done, let's move on.